We were very excited that uh, we'll be hosting on the 10th to the 13th. This uh, global conference is called ITU, which is a UN agency in Durban, ICC. Uh, it gives us an opportunity as a country to showcase our own innovation and technological development. We believe we are one of the most uh, technological advanced country in our continent. We are happy because we, it's the first time this conference is hosted in the African continent or even Southern Hemisphere. We're very happy with the current Secretary General of the ITU because he's really been pushing the developmental agenda. He's been pushing that we showcase SMMEs, small businesses in this sector, because they are the greatest innovators. Uh, so while we'll be having these SMMEs coming from all over the world, uh, working with our sponsors here, uh, kind sponsors here in South Africa, they've identified uh, about 40 to 50 SMMEs. Uh, they're finalizing them now to sponsor them, to go and showcase there, because it's a global event. Uh, you opening them to global markets uh, so that they can sell their creativity and products at a global scale. So that's what it will be one of the legacies of this conference. But secondly, uh, because we don't want them just to attend the conference and market themselves, uh, we'll be you working with the, as a legacy project to refurbish the ICT hub at the Dubai Trade Port where we're encouraging youngsters to come with their innovation, get support, and commercialize. The same here in Gauteng, in the uh, innovation center in, in Gauteng. We'll be also trying to get more youngsters to came, come in there and uh, put their innovation into practice. The other aspect and the legacy of this uh, big conference uh, so that it just doesn't become a technology about new money, what is called blockchain systems, uh, new networks and all those things will be there, they'll be discussed and how we prepare. But another legacy we're looking at is uh, <coughs> ensuring that uh, as the African continent, we've got the center, fourth industrial revolution center, or a transformation center for the ICTs where uh, we can do our own standards testing, conformance and standard testing, instead of our young people and entrepreneurs take their things to uh, Silicon Valley or China. Uh, in this way, we think we'll have greater protection of our intellectual property, but it won't only be used by South African, it will be used by innovators from whole African continent. So it gives a lot of opportunities to our people uh, to have that legacy. So we are quite excited that there's a huge excitement from governments, not only from Africa, but from all over the world, to come with their regulators to really brainstorm. Because at the ITU level, now they are doing testing for 5G technologies and Internet of Things. Uh, to showcase what we're doing here in the African continent. There's quite a lot uh, our companies are doing. Uh, <coughs> so those are the things we'll be looking at collaboration and seeing what others are doing as we prepare for these networks. So to us, it is quite critical uh, because we're expecting about 7,000 people participating here from industry and government to be participating at the and ICC from the 10 and the 13 that the outcomes really will also bring investment. Uh, we see the African continent as the next growth area coming out of the Asian tigers who have been growing, that uh, the next phase of growth is going to be in Africa. So each of our countries will be showcasing what are their capabilities, what are the institutions to support this, including our academic institution, what our innovation centers are doing, and uh, the data centers we are building in the country at the moment, both here in Gauteng, uh, Johannesburg, uh, Cape Town, and Devon. Those are the things, the critical platforms for digital economy. The key thing is that we should not be left behind in the digital economy. We must 
move fast and leapfrog and be compet competitive to uh, big countries like uh, US, UK, Japan, Germany and others. That's where we want to play as a country so that we're not left behind and we're competing. Of course, we're still building infrastructure to underserved areas like rural areas, which we're doing. And we hope part of that legacy will be launching what is called a rural town of Impendle project, which we're doing with government entities. We'll also be launching what our telcos have been doing uh, to deal with crime. In Northern Guazul Natal, where there was transport of crime, people stealing vehicles. You know, when they take your vehicle, you rely on a tracker. But if there's no connectivity, tracker doesn't work. Uh, by just putting connectivity at Mkanyagut and Wazul Natal, because people were complaining. And when there's government, listen, work with the, our regulator, work with our companies. Now they put uh, internet facilities there through those masks they put. We have got 3G capabilities and 4G capabilities. So those are other practical things to say it's not just a conference for the high people, but it is a conference which must benefit the ordinary and the poor in our country.